Well, this year's top transportation stories are topped by one that shouldn't surprise you, the streetcar. No project saw, saw more ups and downs this year than Cincinnati's efforts to build its first rail-based public transportation project in six decades. When construction started in July, it appeared the project would be built no matter how much people opposed it. Then John Cranley was elected mayor, and he pledged to stop the streetcar. Let's not keep spending money when it looks like the clear majority and the clear mandate of yesterday's election was going in a different direction. I think the people's voice should be heard. But in the end, streetcar supporters and Councilman Kevin Flynn performed a near miracle and found a group of nonprofit organizations, foundations, and corporations to pony up to backstop the operating costs over the next 10 years. City Council voted on December 19th to restart the streetcar project. Other top transportation stories, the Cincinnati Northern Kentucky International Airport did something it hasn't done in decades. It actually supported a low-cost carrier. Frontier Airlines arrived in May. 2013 was the year that people began to accept the idea that if Ohio and Northern Kentucky want a new interstate bridge over the Ohio River, tolls will have to be part of the way to pay for it. Washington made it very clear that the federal government was not going to write a $2.5 billion check to replace the functionally obsolete Brent Spence Bridge. And finally, the new Interstate 71 Martin Luther King Jr. Drive Interchange. City Council voted unanimously to borrow $20 million to help pay for its share of the $106 million project. That interchange is estimated to create 7,000 new jobs over the next three decades.